Hello, I have DDH Hop Hands from Tired Hands. So for a while now, Tired Hands has shipped their standard three hoppy beers, Hop Hands, Alien Church, and Punge. Um, but they haven't shipped any of their special smaller release ones, um, ones that like aren't year round. I think those three are year round. I don't really know. Uh, so this is the version with Galaxy, <clears throat> canned on July 15th, 2024. So this is uh, about three and a half weeks in the can right now, as I'm drinking, about to drink. And uh, I'm excited. I like hot pans. I would drink them more. I guess I don't. Tired Hands is still kind of like under the radar sort of around here, maybe. And they're also a little bit more of a, they make the hazy IPAs and stuff, but they're more bitter. I guess Hop Hands is less bitter than Alien Church. Alien Church was a little bit old school in the bitterness and the hop combo. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I've had a beer with Galaxy from Tired Hands. I'm a little bit worried this is going to be like too bitter and harsh, but Hop Hands, they just call a pale ale. I think it's like around 6%. It doesn't say the ABV. But I've had regular hop hands and I liked it. And getting some big aromas off this already. There you go. Very pale, not super murky. Good looking head. Some big soapy bubbles, some slightly denser ones. And yeah, definitely a good amount of aroma jumping out. Yep, that's Galaxy, but it's a little bit, a little bit different. Their yeast is throwing some Smarties stuff, and I don't, I don't know if they just use regular hop hands and then do like an extra dry hopping with Galaxy, or if it's all Galaxy. It doesn't smell like it's all Galaxy, and that's a nice looking head. Yeah, but their all their beers have a little bit of a of, of this old school West Coast earthy, spicy, dank note. Like a little bit piney, a little bit sap, sappy, and like bitter grapefruit. Bitter and, and it smells juicy grapefruit at the same time. <clears throat> and it's like perfumey and instead of like a very green galaxy punch. But there is some, some tropical pineapple melon stuff in there too. But it smells unique. Smells different from a lot of the haze I've been drinking lately. Ooh. That's very flavorful. And it's bitter. But the bitterness, bitterness kind of fades away. At least fades away more than you think, but got a whole can to drink. Body's a little soft, but isn't, the body isn't huge. It's not a very sweet beer, sweet or big beer. <clears throat> but lots and lots of flavors. It's kind of almost got a purple drink thing going on. Um, but this spicy, citrusy undertone that reminds me of Sierra Nevada. Runs like I can't. I don't remember what hops are in the standard hop hands, but it's. Makes me think of Cascade, Centennial, <clears throat> that sort of thing. I feel like it could use a little bit more body or malt presence to just carry the in intense hoppiness that's here, but it's, it's not off pudding. It's not um, it's not throat burn, but it's definitely a lot of hop oils, resins sticking to your tongue and drying it out. <clears throat> and the humidity's finally killed the head, but still a little cap there. It's a very well made beer, and that's what I thought about the other tired hands beer. It's just um, much more bitter and more of a, a classic bitterness and flavor profile. At least that's the base, but then there's definitely tropical, newer wave um, hop stuff happening in here. Um, let's just get some more in there. I don't know 
if there'll be more haze on the bottom or anything. Very, a little, maybe a little heavy on the carb. <clears throat> I can make the beer just a little bit too spicy, a little bit too, too much. But the bubbles aren't, pat, aren't like popping super duper fast. It's definitely a uh, <clears throat> kind of IPA for like a, you want something really refreshing. A lot of double dry hot IPAs out there are gonna be very sweet and syrupy. This is not that, I mean, this isn't an IPA. This is, they say it's a pale ale and it kind of makes sense body wise but even the not the, the the not dbh version is i remember being quite bitter um it's way more bitter than sierra nevada <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> so obviously this is like in the realm of like double dry hop four point and that stuff but this is lower abv a lot less sweet and more bitter <laughs> People don't really use the term session IPA much anymore, but this is almost like some sort of double dry hop session IPA, even though it's stronger. I think it's actually 5.5, whatever. That might be why it's a, it's a little bit lower in the body, but this could be a really good mixer beer. Like if you have an IPA that's too sweet and syrupy, <clears throat> mix it with this one and make the perfect IPA for your tastes. Yeah, nice, nice head, now it's all Foamy, almost Brett head looking. Does that give any more haze? There are a few chunks. So maybe it'll add a little more body, but that head is just very nice. <clears throat> so maybe four point two seven. <clears throat> 